Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to our presentation about mechanical seals and critical pump applications. Uh, my name is Lorenzo Zavala. I'm project development manager in Ilburman, Germany. Uh, I have been working in the seal industry for 16 years, all this time with Eagle Burman uh, in different regions in regions, regions of the world. I'm currently, since four years, I'm, I'm based in Wolfratshausen, where our headquarters is. My colleague, uh, Fernando Baguez, um, he's also working for Eagle Burman. He's based here in Madrid. Um, you can... Well, yes, I, I work here in also in the International Project Department, together with with Lorenzo and the rest of my colleagues in the head office. And uh, well, in my background is uh, where well, I, I was, I'm working in, in Ibergerman <coughs> three years ago. And um, in my, my background is also uh, in other companies uh, uh, manufacturing um, auxiliary systems like uh, supply systems, uh, local systems, etc. always in accordance with API rules. Okay. In this presentation, we will be covering mechanical seals and supply systems, so we will be uh, switching each other when it goes from mechanical seal, it will be covered by me. Uh, Fernando will be talking about supply system. Meanwhile, if you want to, to have any question, meanwhile, the presentation, instead of uh, wait to the, to the final, to, 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 the final to, uh, to end the presentation, you can. You Anytime, can, please. Do, do not hesitate to, uh, to uh, ask whatever, okay? Okay, we start with our first slide. Here we want to show where the mechanical seal is located. This is a <coughs> between bearing pump. We have the, the different components, and this is our area we will be talking about. Different uh, equipment which are associated uh, to mechanical seal. We have uh, the pumps. Here a single stage pump, a multi stage pump, two in screw pumps where you require also mechanical seals, the mechanical seal in itself, and the seal support system. Um, here we try to cover or to show all the environment and the different equipment and mechanical seals are used. We will talk about API 682. As you know, API 682 is an industry standard, which is used quite common <coughs> in projects, in refinery, petrochemicals, there are some parameters which are defined in API 682 to cover the mechanical seals. We have a temperature which is established by API 682 from minus 40 to 400 degrees, pressure, the fluids which are commonly uh, covered by the standard, pump shaft size from 20 to 110 millimeters. This is very important because API 682 say clearly outside the scope of the standard, then uh, the seal solution is engineered seal solution which basically means the standard is not applicable anymore. So whenever we are outside the scope, which is mentioned in the API 682, we will be talking always about engineer seal solution. It can be that the seal itself is based on an API 682 um, seal, but the seal manufacturer is not obliged to follow all the requirements of API 682. The, also the standard defined the test methods for the mechanical seals, and you have also a seal qualification test procedure. In API 682, we have three categories of mechanical seals. They have common <coughs> parameters, like for example, the objective of the standard is that the seal can work continuously for 25,000 hours. This is common for the three categories. That for the arrangement two seal, the seal can work for 25,000 hours and the containment seal can work at least for eight hours at full seal chamber conditions. And the emissions are all also defined by the standard itself. The pump shaft sizes, as I mentioned before, are also defined by the standard. Uh, then we have also the seal design itself. It, is, it, is, it defines specific features for the mechanical seal. The seal has to be balanced. It has to be internally mounted, cartridge designed, and no hook sleeves are allowed. 